Yeah. All right. I like to call this meeting to order at 8.30. And uh, roll call. We have Mr. Shesha. Here. Mr. Orsh. Here. Mr. Larson. Here. And Mr. Ozen. Here. Yeah. And myself. Special guest will be Paul and Steve Young as well, and our wonderful Sam. All right. Item two, certify the open meeting minutes requirements. Was that done? Yep, we did that. Okay. Adopt the agenda. Motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Larson. Second. Second by Mr. Sesha. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? None. Motion carried. All right. Number four. Adopting of the minutes of the previous meetings. Move for approval. Steve. Move for approval by Mr. Austin. Second by Mr. Larson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Anything, anything to discuss on the last meeting? None? Motion. All right. All right. Item five, public comment period. Members of the public have 15 minutes, 15-minute uh, block of time to complete on the day of the agenda items. Members of the public must be presenting and being at being beginning of the meeting and or commit period or comment period with will be waived. <coughs> Public comment period may be extended or critiqued at discussion of the chair at and after advisement of the exec finance committee. You can call at 715 538 1770. I'll repeat it again. The number is 715 538 1770. All right. Next, next item on the agenda is county sales tax update. <clears throat> okay, our um, May uh, payment was 178,241.73 which you can see is a bit lower than last year, but higher than the year before. So we are at 541,711.72 for the year. <clears throat> it was, it, it's a drop, yep. Oh, I see it is. From last year. Paul, have you heard anything as to why? Mm -mm. I mean, any scuttlebutt out there? Nope, I haven't. Well, it may be down for May, but we're still 13.3% up year over year, there year to go. date. So. And it probably will drop again because of gas prices. People, well, people are still buying gas, though. You know, even though the price is up, the tax will be up on that too. So. We, we need to watch that trend though close. I think it's it's really imperative that we take that into consideration whenever we're looking at what expenditures are happening. Um, and if and when a slowdown happens, we need to make sure we're in front of that. Um, but it is a good thing that we're seeing some additional revenues come in, but we gotta make sure we, we watch where that goes. So. Yep. And we still kind of budget conservatively. When we budget, if you notice, last year we brought in four hundred thousand more than the year before, or four hundred thousand than what we budgeted, and even the year before, two hundred and fourteen. We might not hit the four hundred over, but I'm, I'm predicting we'll still be over what we budgeted. Okay. Any other further discussion on the 
update. Well, is there a, is there a month by month budget on that too? No. Yeah. It's just a year to date? Just year to date. <clears throat> And if you want to compare, you know, year to dates for the last three years, you know, we're down from last year, but we're way up from the year before. All right. We'll go to item number seven, general fund update. There was no change from last month. We are still sitting at two million seven hundred and twenty-one thousand six forty-one. Six forty-one. That's to select four sixty-one thirty-nine. There was no change from the May County Board. All right. Well, that's good. That's that's good because May got kind of hard on that extra. <laughs> Any further discussion on the general fund? No? All right. Department report and request. Line number eight. Uh, we're going to go to the quarterly update. Department from the Veterans Office. Mr. Steve Young. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Morning. Yep. Okay. Morning. Morning. So I'll go over the quick briefing that I've given in the past with the previous county board and exec finance. And if you guys want anything different moving on in the future, just let me know. I'll be happy to provide whatever information you'd like. Uh, number one, uh, Joe Quackenboss, who was who I hired on to replace Don Hemd, has become accredited through the Wisconsin Department of Veterans Affairs, which is a requirement in his position. If you can't become accredited and maintain accreditation, you can't stay employed. So he's gotten that. He's working towards the VFW and American Legion across accreditations, which means he'll be able to serve more vets in the area. As, uh, and that'll also allow him to be nationally accredited, which means he can work with veterans outside of Wisconsin if, if so needs be. Uh, we, we do that a lot with folks who move and want to continue to work with us. Yeah. It's hard to find a good uh, veteran service organization out there. So when they find someone they, they trust, they want to stick with us. So we maintain our national accreditation. And so that also means he can process claims on his own now. Before I was reviewing everything, signing it for him, sending it through. Uh, I'm still reviewing it. When he has questions, we're still working very tightly hand in hand. And, uh, but he can send them through on his own now. So he's, he's doing great. Uh, item two, we're downsizing the DME, which is durable medical equipment. For those that may not be aware, we have a medical equipment program where we can loan out equipment to those in need in the county. It doesn't have to be a veteran, it can be anybody. We have them sign a form just with their basic contact information what they're checking out from us and we're putting little placards on everything with the number and it has our name on it so we know who's getting what uh, so we just purchased 23 wheelchairs and 20 walkers through ARPA funds so we're trying to keep track of that stuff yep. in the past everything was donated so we weren't as harsh on getting it back you know it was kind of old and worn out but now that things are new and nice we want to keep it that way and make sure more people have it available to them uh, so I in the past we had and we still currently have them um, electric wheelchairs hospital beds urinals bedside commodes like it went on the hospital was dumping stuff on us other places were giving us things and it just becomes too much for us to take on yep. with just the two of us and then uh, with our storage going away it's becoming a huge headache because they're knocking down the shed out back here pretty quick so uh, we're just cutting down to what i listed the wheelchair seated walkers four-wheeled walkers crutches and canes because that's what i've seen issued out the most in the last three years we haven't given out a single hospital bed. We haven't, we've given out one electric wheelchair and they brought it back the next day. So it's just sitting there. No need to have it around. If I can find someone to donate it to, I will. Otherwise, uh, Jeremy brought up, perhaps we could auction it, put money in one of our accounts or just sell it for scrap, depending on the status. So we'll, we'll figure something out. We're not just gonna pitch it, yep. but we'll, we'll take care of that. Uh, item three, myself and the Buffalo County CVSO, as well as one of the staff members from the vet center in La Crosse. We're talking about uh, the potential of a charity event this fall at the Arcadia Trap Club. We wanna do a silent auction, a raffle, a shoot. All of it will go towards veterans relief between Buffalo and Trimplo counties. Uh, we, you know, we're not looking to profit off of it. It's all just to go to veterans relief. 
So we got we already got a donation from First Light. They sent us some stuff that we can use for the auction. We're going to reach out to a few other entities as well. More to come. Very preliminary. Uh, item four. I didn't bring the resolution yet because I wanted to get with Paul to figure out the proper way to do it because I haven't written one for this yet. But currently our Veterans Relief Fund is lapsing. So every year it rolls back into the general fund. People have tried to donate to us in the past. And if they do that, then it rolls back into the general fund at the end of the year. And people would like to donate more often. So I'd like to convert that to a non-lapsing account so that we can do that. And we do get checks every year from different organizations and they'll specify what it's for. But of course we can't really earmark funds that get pulled back in the general fund every year. So it, to me it makes sense to convert it to a non-lapsing and just run with it and have more money for our vets in need. Yeah. And especially during COVID we saw a larger need for that. But people either thought we were tapped out for funds because we normally only have 3,000, 3,500 a year. Yeah or they reach, we get them in contact with other organizations with more money first, but we're always there if someone needs us. And then number five, I included along, uh, per the new requirement, the adjusted work schedule approval form for you guys to look at. It's for me, and it's just as simple as I have to pick my kids up by five and I live in La Crosse. So I work 7.30 to four normally. And the new policy said you guys need to approve that for department heads, so I put that in there. Adjusted work schedule approval form. Other than that, I would appreciate feedback or questions if I can offer any different information or additional information in the future. Yeah. Any questions? Your current hours are what? 8 to 4.30, is that Correct. the standard? Okay. And my the benefit specialist, Joe, he'll be here, 8 to 4.30 courthouse hours. Okay. I would just come in 7.30, leave at 4. And I'm, I'm on the road quite a bit anyway in my current role. Okay. I'm out at different outreach events and uh, I'll visit veterans at their homes if I need to. And so my, I'm pretty flexible compared to being anchored to my desk. And that's where Joe's usually around. I'm up for our parole hours. hours. Got a motion for, uh, by John Ozen to approve his hours. Second. Second by Mr. Orsch. Does that gotta be row or? No, okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? None? Can I Motion carried. Go right ahead. Just one thing I wanted to add is that um, Steve and I will work on that non-lapsing because we'll have to bring a resolution yep. to county board on that. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. probably next month's meeting? Yeah, I just wanted to bring it to bring it to light yep. before that, we that, came forward thank, with it. Thanks for uh, giving us a heads up on that. Yep. So j just a real quick question on that. Um, non-lapsing would, desi would designate all of those funds to be for the veterans. They'd stay in the account in, even in the at VA the account. end of the year. They we, will carry over to the next year automatically. I have a line out of my budget for veterans relief, and that's all it's used for. And the Veterans Service Commission is the one who decides where it's spent. Mm -hmm. Veterans can come in and apply for funds, and then the Veterans Service Commission meets, and they decide if they're going to award it to them or not. I have authority to give out up to $100 in case of an emergency or something, you know, if they need gas or food money or whatever. But anything over that, they have to fill out paperwork and apply to the Service Commission, and I call them. And we either talk it over the phone or we have a meeting and they authorize it. Okay. And then we process the entire packet goes to the clerk's office and then they cut the check. So it's it's not something I can just shovel out wads of cash for. And I'm glad that it's that way because we need checks and balances. So yep. it's uh yeah, it's just sometimes we, we use all of our funds and we have to ask for more, sometimes we don't. But when people donate, we lose it at the end of the year. Okay. And that's they weren't trying to give it to the county per se, not that that's a bad thing, but I got it. I've got a check sitting on my desk from June of last year because it's they specified exactly what it was supposed to be for. And I didn't want to put it in the general fund. So that's all it would be for. All right. Well, if you guys can have that by next month. We'll do. Does item number three need any action by us? What's the for the yeah, charity does, event? The charity event, does that? Right now we're... Like I said, we're in preliminary discussion, so we're meeting on the 13th with the, <coughs> the president of the range and then the other members of the committee that are working with me to find out if that nail the dates down, find out what we need to have in place. I've already reached out to court counsel a little bit to discuss liability and what we need to get in place before that can happen. If, uh, if this ends up being too much for us to take on by the fall, we'll just postpone a year, but that'll give us time to get it all going. Yeah. Um, but at this time, I was really just bringing it to light so you guys were aware of it. Okay. And so we could kind of get the word out so people could maybe spread the word and, and go to it as well. Yeah. Where is it going to be held? Arcadia at the Trap Club. Okay. 
Hopefully, I should say. If not, we'll find another site, but that's the goal anyway. It'll all go towards, we'll split it between Buffalo County and uh, Trimple County, since it's right on the border. Yeah. And we'll try to pull vets from both sides, or anybody from both sides that wants to compete or do the auction. Cool. All right. Anything else I can answer for anyone? Nothing. All right. Well, thank you very much. Say off the subject, Steve. Mm -hmm. I have a request for three flight holders for Pine Park Cemetery in Yellowville. I have the names of the veterans. Okay. You know they Can I just stop up yeah. and? As yeah, as I do not, know who they are. As long as they're not World War II, because I haven't got them yet. Pardon? As long as they're not World War II, we haven't got them yet. Oh, okay. We, we ordered flag holders in February, and I don't know if it's due to COVID or what it's from, but they still haven't come yet. We've checked on it two or three times. So I've got flag holders, but just no World War II. Yeah, well, I th they kind of requested just, there's just a basic one. There's a universal veteran one, yes, sir, that is yeah. a star just as U.S. on Right, it. and that'd be fine, I guess, for these three. We've got them. Okay. Yeah, but if they have a wartime period they serve during, we try to give out that wartime period specific one. Okay. And World War II lately, unfortunately, has been the, the most commonly used one. So we're, we did order more with ARPA funds. He's called, I've called, and I think it's just supply issues with COVID. Labor is what they said. Oh, that. This last time I called them, it was labor. They said they were just getting to February's orders last week when I called. Because yep. we were using a place out of Barron, but they retired, sold their business to their kids who live in Minnesota and now there's a $300 surcharge on bronze and then there's a $300 shipping price so we switched companies and Ooh. a lot of people did All right. so we're trying to find the most beneficial way to spend our dollars if I can keep it in the county I will if I can keep it in the state I will but when we're not able to then we got to be fiscally responsible with it yes yeah just stop right up we'll get you set up okay perfect thank you all right. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you, guys. All right. Quarterly update from Corporal Counsel Rick Niemeyer. Mr. Niemeyer. Oh, good morning. Morning. Oh, happy Monday, everyone. Um, all right. Just an update on this, what's going on in my office. <clears throat> Um, we are hoping to extend an offer to a candidate this week in regards to the assistant corp counsel's position. Um, we've kind of narrowed it down, and so we um, are, again, hoping to get that out this week. I'm just still, still doing some um, reference checks. Um, so if that all goes as planned, hopefully by the end of the month, beginning of next month, that we'll have somebody filling that position. Um, was it last month, I think it was? Um, Human Resources and my office, we physically switched or swapped locations, our, our physical office space. Um, there just was a better setup in the, um, for each of our respective offices if we did that. And so that's something that has been in the works for a while, pending approval of the Assistant Corp Counsel's position. Um, and so we got that taken care of, and I think the setup is actually working really well um, for both offices. Um, and I believe Krista's um, other staff person started today, so they're back up to full staff again too. So um, we had that. Um, last month I did some training to um, the county law enforcement agencies. They have an in-service um, so many, so often. And so I did some training with them in regards to changes in the 50, chapter 51, the mental health commitment um, area. Um, try to do that about every other year with any changes in the law, um, any updates that are taking place, those kinds of things. Um, I also provide some to staff here at the courthouse, tried to do that every other year regarding open meetings and public records and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so we just did that. Oh, did we do that last year? I think it was. So I try to do to again do that every other year. So um, those are the main areas. Otherwise, the um, guardianships, mental health cases, those remain a busy area. Um, so it's never never a dull moment there. And um, but um, we're we're moving forward. Um, yeah, those are the things that I can think of offhand. If anybody has any questions or comments, I'm certainly open to. So yeah. Sidelight a little bit, but since mm -hmm. you're here and I can catch you, sure. Did you ever get the message that I had requested an, an opinion on conflict of interest for myself? I don't recall getting that. Was it a f email or voicemail? Voicemail. It was, and I apologize. I don't recall. Okay, the okay. request was Judge Radke had appointed me to the condemnation committee. I've been on a few years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there any potential conflict of interest in being on that and being on county board? I can imagine. Um, 
let me do this because it would probably be offering you some legal advice let me put something together for you in in <laughs> writing and get that to you um, yes. that way it doesn't necessarily uh, if you feel there's a conflict I'll just resign from that confirmation sure. committee. Mm -hmm. yep nothing comes to mind offhand but let me just do a little bit of checking just okay. to make sure on Appreciate that so it. my apologies on that but I'll get that to you Thank right you. away uh, do you, would you prefer it in email a phone call what would you prefer uh, email works. My okay. wife can get it for me and tell me what it, what it said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. I'll send it to your county email address. Then. Thank so, you. Yeah, you bet. Thanks. Uh, oh, with the, uh, settlement. the settlement. Um, that's right. There. That's right. There. That's right. Yep, last week there was a webinar and an update in regards to the opioid um, settlement. Um, things are moving forward. I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. I know that there is going to be some delays. Um, not surprising um, it seems that this kind of continues to get delayed periodically but it is moving forward there is that option of um, the money money it's it's the one where you can money monetization that's not the right word that they use but getting the money up front for it and then they kind of takes away some of the risk there was some discussion about that um, one of the organizations that was would be willing to do it did have a conversation um, I'll bring some of that information to the county board at the next meeting just to update you where it's at no decision needs to be made as of yet um, right now is still in the discussion phase um, but that is something that will be a further discussion going forward um, again there are options on some of them um, um, it might get some money to the county early on, uh, keeping in mind that there are further settlement options so with some of the other defendants. But um, so yeah, we had a webinar on that last week, and um, just to give some information. Um, but there'll be more information coming out on that as well. So, okay. mm -hmm. any other questions, comments, concerns? Great. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> Discussion and actions on ARPA funds. I don't have too much to report on that one. I will be in the next couple days um, applying for the second half. We have to within that 30-day um, threshold anyway. Uh, we got it in June last year, so we're in that portal right now to ask for the other half. But we have to start discussing what we want to use it for. And. Um, I think everybody got a copy of that handout at County Board in April of everybody that's asked for money. Uh, there was a comment about asking them all to come back and re-ask, re and I, I don't know if you decided you wanted them to come or not, or to come and plead again. We have time yet, don't we? we don't, oh, it doesn't got have time. to be designated till 24 sometime, right? right? Uh, I'm of the opinion that we sit on all of it till we see where some other things go. And the money that we've got sitting, the only thing we've allocated was the 6000 for veterans. That's all we've ever al allocated. And I had to report that back in April. Okay. But, um, yeah, we're, we're good that way. I, I'm of the opinion we should just, just sit on it, not make any commitments of any kind just yet. And it's drawing some interest right now, too. That's always Bank good. interest, not, <laughs> <laughs> not much. Those rates aren't very high yet. But. Was there a couple requests there that we thought should be, or don't you think so? Oh, I, I'm not going to make any opinion oh, at this okay. point. <laughs> I know but, some I mean, like filing things in the... Oh, register deeds like that. Register and, deeds. Yeah. Or even the broadband, they want the whole amount. That would be my, well, I'm TCC. Not, no. They had their, well, you should have had that in your packet, okay. too. That well, came maybe right just wait to, for they them. They had the exact dollar figure that they requested, which was the exact dollar figure that we were going to get. So it's. We'll just wait for somebody to say something. We can discuss it then, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think the point is to wait till we get the final answer on all of the funds we're going to get, and then we work it into the budgeting process at the appropriate time. So no need to spend money before you know what you're going to get. So. Exactly. <clears throat> that one stays on the, the agenda all the time, so yep. we'll be back next. FEMA funds update. And I have not heard anything from Integrity. They haven't told us we're getting less, so we're still in that 240 some thousand dollars is what they told us we're going to receive. So that's kind of just been stale now too for a bit. 
the the additional let's see originally it was what was it 600 something yeah it was over 600 615,000 I think is what it was and, and now they there's, there's no it hope down. of any recoup of that through this uh, is integrity there? said that once they have a final on what FEMA says we're going to get they're going to resubmit everything else to okay. get a better explanation of why it was denied okay. and that's where it comes back to if that's the case um, we might have to use ARPA funds but that's something you're gonna have to decide to yeah. to cover those expenses okay. anything else on that matter all right set the date and time for next meeting and make sure you put a FEMA update on the next month's agenda They'll be, they'll be on. Yep. So that's an issue. <laughs> July 4th is the date. So yeah. what do we do? Go to Tuesday? You either or? go to Tuesday or you go to the week after. All right. I got to get my... Is 11th getting too late or not necessarily? No. No, because the 12th will be when I do mail out packets. So county board's on the 18th. So the 11th is still okay. You can decide which... I suggest the 11th. The 11th? Because the, the next day is a day after a holiday, probably. If, if my wife wins the discussion, we may be gone. <laughs> 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 yeah, 11th fine with me. 11th fine with two. Yeah. Mr. Orsch? I think so. The 11th? Mr. Ozen? That's fine. fine. All right. 8.30 still work for everybody? This is fine. Just a comment. This is a, in four years, this is the quickest this has ever went. <laughs> we'll make up for so it. Don't <laughs> lie, <I'd be laughs> like, I guess maybe you know that. Oh, I, I was, I was watching the time. It was, it was moving pretty quick for me too. So, all right. The next meeting for July will be the 11th at 830. All right. Anything else? Nothing? All right. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn by Mr. Larson. Second. Second, Second by Mr. Shesha. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? None. Motion carries. We are adjourned at 857. Wow. <laughs>